On today's episode on What the Hell Goes On in This Cursed Platform, we're talking about the van girl. I've been living in this van for almost two years now. Is she a conspiracy or are we all just jealous of her success? Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. 2019 has been great for me. On YouTube, I've got to 5,000 subscribers. It took me like two and a half years or something to get there. Huge milestone. What if I told you, however, Get your finger, finger you out of my face. face! There was a person who lives in a van and goes by the name of Janelle Eliana who got 300,000 subscribers in one day. Call the police. Call the police. We have to call the police. Now the phrase van girl, van girl, van girl, it might not mean anything to you. Or maybe it does in the recesses of your brain. You need the simplest version of the idea in order for it to grow naturally in your subject's mind. And it's a very subtle art. I personally started seeing, can my dishwasher shut up? I personally started seeing a particular video from this creator being suggested to me about three or four weeks ago. I think three weeks ago. Already. And I figured maybe I'd watched something from this creator before, which is why the video randomly has shown up in my suggested. It turns out, however, this was her first video ever. Quick disclaimer, I really like the Van Girls content. I think Janelle Eliana is doing something cool on the platform. This is more of a what the hell is happening video. It's not a I hate this video. I saw another popular YouTuber known as Issa or Twames commented on one of her Instagram posts being like mother of wagons. To start off with, here's a bunch of data from the website Social Blade. If you're not familiar with what Social Blade is, they just aggregate a bunch of different stats from YouTube channels, Instagram profiles, a whole bunch of stuff. For context, here's my Social Blade profile. You can see when my account was created, my daily subscribers and views, blah, 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 who cares? Now, let's have a look at Janelle Eliana's stats. You can see that there's not enough data shown for the chart, which Oh my god, this is already insane because you can see she's got 1.6 million subscribers and not even enough data to show one month's worth of stats. What? That, ladies and gentlemen, is a scream. That's a, that's a full scream. That's a level 10 scream. There've been a bunch of channels that have skyrocketed like this. Some examples that I can think of are Joanna Cedia. Do I look like Madonna yet? A Levi Bernhardt. Ooh. But both of those had prior videos and then one of them hit a sweet spot in the algorithm and it just sent everything else up. What's different about this case is that it was her first video. Look how many views it has now. I'm saying look how it is because every time I refresh it goes up so I don't actually know what it looks like by the time I'm editing it. Goodbye PewDiePie, hello new Supreme. Here's the Sparknotes version of the video in case you have a little attention span and you want to click out. There's a girl in a van, henceforth referred to as Van Girl. Van Girl Janelle Eliana has 1.6 million subscribers after a month. This level of growth is completely unprecedented on the platform, especially for a completely new account. As a result of this, people think that it's fake. On the flip side, maybe she just hit a sweet spot with the algorithm. And lastly, there's a whole lot more, but I'm not gonna tell you until you watch the whole video. So I've scoured the internet, I've trolled the seas of Google, Reddit, YouTube, that's it. And here's a bunch of theories that I found. Number one, weird YouTube algorithm shenanigans. I've seen a bunch of posts of people saying that they were subscribed to her channel without actually clicking subscribe, which I've seen a few times before and I've seen people be unsubscribed without clicking unsubscribe. He's wishing that whatever happened with people automatically subscribing to her channel happens to my channel. <laughs> YouTube is always adamant that they don't automatically subscribe users to channels. The next theory is that she's an industry plant. Basically an industry plant is someone who has an in and acts like they didn't have an in. So like a pop artist that comes up and actually knows the exec of some record label. So some people think that Janelle Eliana is either directly connected to YouTube or know someone in YouTube who presented her content and then YouTube decided to promote it. This one's interesting because if it is true, the data does line up. It is very strange that one video in a very short amount of time can hit so many users. I'm just trying to imagine what her impressions would be. It would have to be about 20, 30 million. So even with an initial influx of views from her Instagram profile, it still a bit strange. I read some interesting comments about why YouTube would promote her videos particularly because she's super sustainable, she lives in a van, her content's family friendly, entertaining, it's different. The industry plant conversation reminds me a lot of Lonely Girl 15, which is a whole nother thing. I would love to make a video about Lonely Girl 15 because that shit is so interesting. 
Hi guys, um, so this is my first video vlog. Basically Lonely Girl 15 was a vlogger in 2006 and it came out that it actually wasn't real at all. It had a whole production crew and it was people posing as an authentic vlogging channel. A lot of people were commenting that her video editing is very, very, very good for someone who's never made a video before. It seems people are assuming that if someone is attractive, bubbly, smart and can edit a video well, then it must be fake. It can't be true. Maybe she is all that. And we're all just jealous. The next one is that she doesn't actually live in the van. <laughs> There's a theory that she lives in a house, does all the house people things, and then goes in the van for the videos. This one is not true because if you go to her Instagram account, you can see stuff all the way back to like 2017 or something about her living in the van. So if this is all a con, sis, you deserve it because that's two years of conning living in a van. Like why even run that scam. And the last one I've got is that it's promo for a new documentary or a Netflix series or something like that. Imagine if it was true and there's just some like massive cinematic thing going on to make this YouTube channel for this fake person and then something happens on the channel. I am already living for that. All right, enough of that clownery. What about the actual facts? Let's do some rebuttals. Fact, she has a bubbly personality. Fact, the videos are edited really well. Fact, the videos are interesting. Fact, the videos are over 10 minutes long and they hit a bunch of different flagstones that go really well with the algorithm. As I said before, maybe she is all that. Maybe she just had such a powerful mind that she knew exactly what needed to happen or she just got lucky. Apparently she was quite big on Instagram before she started her YouTube channel, which would explain a lot of the initial boost because if you have a new channel and there's 100,000 views coming from a different platform and they're all super positive, really high engagement on a long video, the algorithm will absolutely love that. But will it love it enough to send it to absolutely everybody? Mm. So what does this mean for you and what does it mean for me? What the hell are we gonna do now? The algorithm makes absolutely no sense and I don't understand it at all. It's pretty much impossible to predict what's gonna happen next on the algorithm. Like, are they gonna start favoring people who I don't know, eat, what, I don't even know where I was going with that. Eat mushrooms. People who eat mushrooms suddenly, boom. Mushroom channel, boom. I'm a mushroom channel now. To be honest, I kind of want to live in a van now. Since Janelle Eliana's channel blew up, however, there's been a lot, and I mean a lot, of new videos about people living in small spaces. <laughs> the amount of shit that comes up now Woof. Could YouTube be pulling people away from super luxurious videos and putting them towards more sustainable living type videos? Hmm. No, because they like money. People can stop lying. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Let me know in the comments if you've never seen this person before on YouTube, which I would be surprised. Do you think there are industry plants in YouTube? I mean, surely there has to be at some point. Maybe I'm an industry plant. We don't know. Thank you for watching. This is a little bit different to my usual content, a little bit more of a uh, uh, deep dive. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, especially if you made it this far in the video. Just, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.